All right. Ready? I can roll. Let's go through the white notes first and how they work and how the intervals sharp. If you see a note that says uh, A sharp, you know that find that note on a keyboard, you have to find A. What are we going to hear when I hit play on this and tell it to play these four notes? What are we going to hear? It makes the rhythm longer. So, this was two beats. So, each half have to have and three. <laughs> Did Jesus. any of that make sense? Do you know how to do this? Do you know how to do this? No, that's really advanced for me. Oh my god. Okay. All right, hello everyone. Wow, Welcome so to cool. this first in a longer series of comprehensive music theory courses. So what we're going to be doing in this whole series is we're going to be working through Ooh. my college level curriculum on music theory. Now, don't let that freak you out. That doesn't mean we're going to jump right in on the hard stuff. The way we always start this is a review and making sure everyone's on the same page wow, about review, reading music and understanding all the symbols that we're looking at when we look at a traditional uh, notation score, which is what we're kind of seeing here on the screen. This is a program called Muse Score. It's a free program. Uh, I'll talk to you a little bit more about that once we get into the course. I'll be using this program to kind of outline and help us walk through some uh, concepts of how all of this stuff works. So I want you to get this program, but before you do, jump into the course and let me tell you a couple things about it and some of the options you have. So, um, But it's a great little free program uh, that we're going to use as a teaching tool to help us learn how to read music, basically. So. In this first section, this first course of the long sequence, what we're going to be focusing on is how, what do all these little dots mean? So we're going to walk through how to read music, uh, how to read notes, how to read rhythms. And if you've tried this before, if you've tried to learn before, then try again uh, using my method here. Um, it, it's hard. It's hard to learn how to read this stuff. It's a whole new language. It really is. So what I hope that you can do is Dive in with me here and learn how to do this. Take another shot at it and make sure we get all on the same page so that you're up to speed while we dive into the more serious music theory stuff. Now, my approach to music theory is learning what notes work together so that we can create music on our own, right? So you might be a songwriter who wants to know what, what are some more options I have? You know, how can I incorporate more um, diversity into my songs, make something sound cool? Uh, that's what music theory tells us. Another thing that music theory tells us is you might be listening to a song that you like and you might think, what, what did that person do to make it sound the way it sounded? And we can, we can look at that song, we can analyze it, and we can say, oh, I know what he did. He did this kind of you know, music theory trick. And then we can use that trick in our own songs, right? That's totally okay. Uh, that's how we learn how to do stuff. So that's what we're gonna be doing. But in this first class, we're gonna be focusing on uh, how to read music. Okay, so let's dive in, let's get started. Let me show you this program that we're gonna use. And then uh, we'll be up and running talking about notes and rhythms and dynamics and symbols and what all of these things mean and how we can use that. So please join me on the inside. Off we go. All right. 
Okay, so that was the first. Okay, so he wasn't actually going into that stuff. No. Holy shit. I'm glad. Because I was like, oh! My no, that's God. ridiculous. But apparently... Yeah. All right, so let's get started by first just talking about um, a, a few words about my approach to music theory and how I think about music theory. Um, there's one kind of... Going? Oh yeah. Big rule that I kind of live by when it comes to music theory. And that is that your ear trumps the theory. So let me explain that. Hmm. Um, I teach music theory from the perspective of the composer, the songwriter, the producer. That's the kind of theory that I get into. Um, I don't teach the kind of music theory where we analyze things just to see how detailed we can get. What I'm most concerned with is figuring out why... Pausing it. Lenny, you stinker. You're good. Something sounds the way it sounds so that we can use that technique uh, in our own music. Now, if you're not a songwriter, um, that's fine. Because what you're going to be able to do by the end of all of this is listen to something and know how to play it better. Maybe you're a performer and you want to play it better. Maybe you're just someone who just wants to understand music better uh, for any number of reasons. But the way I approach music theory is as a composer, as a songwriter, and I do it so that I can take the general concept, the idea, and apply it to my own music. So, and it's not like stealing, right? Um, because it might be that in a particular song, we hear uh, the songwriter use these three chords in a row, and it generated a kind of a feel, a sound, and we're like, man, I really love that sound, that feel that he made with that. How can I replicate that? Well, what we can do is we can analyze it. We can find out what three chords they used, and then we can use those three chords. We can use variations and, yeah, of those three chords. That's exactly what and be able to do. the second big goal to music theory is that maybe we skip that whole process altogether because we're going to learn that when we use a certain combination of notes, it generates this certain feel, right? So we're just going to be able to skip that process and just say, well, I know that when I put these notes together and then I follow them by these other notes, it generates this feel. So in a way, we could say that the other goal is to like understand what music generates what feeling so that we can put that together to generate our own music, right? To write our own music, because that's what we want to be able to do. We want to be able to quickly think... I know that if I'm on this chord and I go to that chord, it's going to feel happy. Mm -hmm. I know if I'm on this chord and I go to that chord, it's going to feel sad. Production. Or any so number of much more complex emotions than happy and sad, because music is capable of generating a lot of very complex emotions. Mm. So those are kind of my big two goals in the way that I approach music theory. If you've written something and you think it sounds cool or you've created something, you're like, that sounds great. And then later you find out that it doesn't make a lot of sense with music theory. Uh, there are two things wrong with, with, with that. Uh, one is that who cares whether it makes sense in the rules of music theory? You're using music theory wrong. Uh, if it doesn't make sense in the rules of music theory, who cares? If it sounds cool, it sounds cool. If it sounds the way you want it to sound, then that's just great. Okay. I like the first um, thought. So that's the first thing that's wrong with that. The second thing that's wrong with that is that you're assuming your limited understanding of music theory means that it doesn't make sense. When actually, if you got into some of the super advanced music theory, I'm sure you would find a way to make it make sense. Music theory goes, you know, it starts at the basics where we're going to start, and it goes to, like, really complicated stuff. So, and we'll get into some of that really complicated stuff by the end of this whole sequence of classes. Um, but because you know a little bit about music theory, or not you, but I shouldn't put this in terms of you, because often people have taken a couple of music theory classes, uh, they assume that 
what they've done doesn't make sense in the rules of music theory. Uh, so they want to change it. Um, and that doesn't work very well either because music theory is so big and it encapsulates so much stuff theory, that you like, could be um, theory. just like not knowing not of fun. how to make sense of what you've written in music theory. This is a long-winded way of saying, let your ear be the guide. Let your ear be your guide. And when you learn something in music theory, um, make sure you understand how it sounds because that's the most important thing. Um, we need to remember always that mm -hmm. music theory is really just a way for us to distill things down and make sense of why they sound the way they sound. When we have something we don't like the way it sounds, we, we can pick it apart using music theory and we can say, ah, that sounds dumb because it's this, this, and this. That's why we don't like the way that sounds. And then we know, and we can know not to do that if we don't want it to sound dumb. Or uh, if you're writing something and you're like, uh, I'm writing a piece of music and I intentionally want it to sound dumb, I could do blah, 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 um, because I know that's a dumb sound. Um, that's kind of a silly example, right? I often tell students, my composition students, that if you write 100% by the rules of music theory, then you will create something that sounds perfectly fine and boring. If you break no rules, mm. everything will sound just fine and boring. So you have to break the rules to make something interesting. So keep that all in mind. Like this um, yeah, this is a really good rule. Just remember your yeah. ear is the winner whenever it comes to analyzing best part something. All this, dude, um, is $10 and that's how I approach shit. music theory. I do approach it from a composition um, songwriter perspective um, because that's what I am. That's how I learned it. Uh, and uh, I think it's a good way to teach it. So with that in mind, let's press on. Uh, next thing I want to do is talk about the tools that we're going to need uh, for this class. All right, here we go. What do we need? Okay, let's talk about the tools oh, you will okay. need to be successful at learning music theory. Uh, they're pretty simple. They're not a lot. Um, and they can both be free to you. Um, the main thing I want you to have is some staff paper. Staff paper is, um, uh, you know, there's lots of different kinds of staff paper, and I could get really nerdy yeah. and tell you about what I prefer in staff paper and uh, the different types of staff paper and all these different things. Staffs. All staff paper is is some paper with the five lines on it, right? Mm -hmm. That's called the staff. Uh, and we're going to get into how to use that shortly. But it's handy to have some of this, and I prefer to have some printed out um, and some actual paper and a good pencil. This is how I like to work. But um, I'm a little bit old school when it comes to that. So you don't need to. Um, the cool thing, though, is that you can find different kinds of staff paper all over the internet, and you can just print it out. As I said, um, print it. Do you have a printer, though? Although there is something to be said for some really nice actual physical paper. Uh, so when it's printed on really good paper, okay, the that. best staff paper I've found um, uh, is actually at a, a store in, in Paris called Le Flute de Pain. Um, so if you're ever there, pick up some, some of their locally made staff it, paper it's, it, you know? it just feels beautiful it's just really great paper anyway i promised i wasn't going to nerd out on different kinds of staff paper um i'm going to give you a pdf in the next little blurb here there's going to be a downloadable pdf with some staff paper cool. um so download that print out a handful of sheets if you want if you want to use staff paper um get yourself a nice pencil we're or pen we're doing it we're doing it and uh You'll have some paper ready to go. So when I explain some stuff, you can draw it out. Um, now, you don't have to use staff paper. You can use software to do that. And that is thing number two uh, for tools. I would recommend it using software anyway, even if you're going to use paper. Because the thing about paper is that you can't hit play and hear it back, hear what you've written down um, on paper. Um, software, you can. So there's a couple different programs that you can use to do this. There are kind of three on the market right now. Uh, there's one called Sibelius. Sibelius is a good program. Uh, a lot of people like it. Um, the problem with Sibelius, though, is that 
uh, long story short, it was bought by Avid, the company that owns Pro Tools, and they've ceased development of it. So it's not a smart investment to buy. It's a bit expensive, and I wouldn't recommend buying it because of that. Uh, the next program that's kind of the big dog right now, now that Sibelius is gone, is a program called Finale. It's made by a company called Make Music. That one, it's it's also a bit expensive. I'm not sure how much it is right now. It's probably around 300 bucks, maybe 400 bucks. It's a good program. It's a very robust program. <clears throat> but um, people have a love-hate relationship with it. It can be really hard to learn. Um, and a lot of people... Keep it going. Will find it really frustrating uh, and I don't want to dive into just saying use this program that's hard to learn and have you get frustrated on your theory projects by having to deal with a frustrating program so um, there is a third option that I want us to use this is a program called muse score uh, I'm going to talk about this more in the next video but muse score is a, um, a program that'll do everything we want and it's free <clears throat> MuseScore is a free open source program. Um, now, what we're talking about here is the the general word for these three these three programs are these are called notation editors. Um, they're kind of like a text editor would be like Microsoft Word or anything like that. These are notation editors. They let us work with musical notation. Um, <clears throat> MuseScore, to be completely honest, is not as good as Finale or Sibelius. Um, but I've been really impressed with how this program is coming around. And since it's free, I've decided to teach this whole class using MuseScore so that you can, uh, be, because I know you can get it, right? Because it's free. I'm not going to ask you to uh, buy anything else. I've seen some of my students have come in uh, to lessons using MuseScore, and they've had beautifully put together scores. So I know that it's capable of a lot. Um, it's come a long way. So I think it's a really good program. So download this program called MuseScore. You can get it at musescore.org. That's M-U-S-E-S-C-O-R-E.org. And one that I'm using, I'm going to be using in this class, is MuseScore 2.0.2. .2. So MuseScore 2, basically. So if you want to follow along, that's what I'll be using. Uh, if there's a new version of MuseScore, so when you're watching this, that's probably just fine. Um, so oh, the main so tool is just like drag and drop. Staff so paper, you if you like. That, I like, prefer to have some printed staff paper. It's handy. Note, in the next video, it, there's going to be a yeah. little, or will, not video, but in the next segment, piano, you can download a, uh, uh, a PDF yeah, of some staff paper that you can just print out, have on hand for when you want to just jot things down using staff paper. Um, and oh, yeah. a, a notation editor program. Finale works, Sibelius works, and MuseScore works. I'm going to be using MuseScore in this class, but this isn't going to be a class on how to use MuseScore. That's not what we're doing here. We're doing a music theory class. So any of those three, either of those three programs will work just fine. Um, we're going to be talking about music theory, not about how to use this program. But um, in the next video, I'll show you real quick the super basics of how it works. Dude, I just had like an epiphany of this room looking like a fucking badass studio. Like seriously, like once we're able to get my, when I get my laptop and I mm -hmm. get my keyboard, it would be so dope to, cause I, I mean, I'm reamping my room for sure, but I think this room, dude, this could be a prime studio, depending on what you want to do with it. It's all up to you, obviously, to your room, but we what should. What do you think? What do you mean? Like soundproof and everything. Oh, yeah. Like get, to get some soundproofers. Like this is a perfect room for it. I need some lights, too. I can't stand this fucking light. We get different lights. It's like a like hospital light. It's all dependent on what you want to do, because I know you have a lot of hobbies, so this also is a gaming room for you. Yeah. And that's what's, you know. Yeah, but... I have a game with headphones. Right. So. So it's it's one of those things where it's like, dude. Oh, totally. We could we could we could fuck this room up, dude. How much space is in that closet? A good amount. <laughs> is there a lot of stuff in there? Do you want to fucking look in there? Yeah, now? I do. <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. 
So this is all the shit you're going to be selling, right? Or all of it. All that you're going to be selling. Almost all of it. Probably 95%. So we, we could get on a routine, bro, where we're also getting shit sold for you, too. Are you selling that board? Is that a snowboard? Oh, no. That's 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 my board, yeah. Oh, that's like, oh, that's, a, that's a cool board, too. I was like... It's, it's a pretty rare one yeah. that I got. So it's all this, this other stuff here. Yeah, some stuff I'm keeping. But this is part of my routine, too. It's like getting the shit out, you know? But it's overwhelming, as you can tell. Dude, I would, I would be totally willing to help you with it and, like, help you. Well, you'd get some money for that, you know, based on what we sell. I, if you want. I mean, I'm just doing it for, as a friend. Like, I don't mind. No, you, like, would, you would get money. Like, you're sitting there helping me. I'm, like, teaching If you. you're, and I mean, we can even incorporate that in the time of, like, what we're doing here. But this room, bro, has so much think? fucking potential, dude. I don't know why I just thought about it because I was like, I was thinking about, I think it all came up because I was thinking about, okay, if, if I'm using this program, then you're going to need your own keyboard. Like, it works that we're using this together, but like, you're going to need a keyboard and I'm going to need a keyboard and I'm going to have to, like, if we had, this is so fucking cool, if we had two workstations. I mean, we're all in it, dude. Like, I'm all in it. All right. I'm serious. Like, if, about we, it. if we had, like, Two workstations. You gotta get this bed out if that's the case. So how often are you using this bed? Like, are you sleeping on this bed? No. Okay, gotcha. So I mean, we can get. Rid of, I mean, I paid five hundred for it. Though. That's the shitty part. But you know, you know what's funny as hell? I actually need a bed. <laughs> I need like a smaller bed. I'm trying to get rid of my bed. Do you want it? I can hold it for you. What do you mean hold it? Like I would use it like oh. as my bed because I need a bed. Hmm. In my room, like I'm actually looking for a different bed in order to create like more space in my room. So we can talk about that. But dude, okay. I like my vision was like, I mean, I don't know if you've seen people's like studios, but like you soundproof the shit out of this, and then we have workstations, bro. We could either do side by side or we do back to back. How <laughs> fucking legit would well, that like, be, dude? If we get like really into these videos, it's like. I'm not going to want to continue the videos on my own. Exactly. Then That's what I'm saying. Weird. Because you can't watch it on your own. Like, we're, I'm watching these with you. Dude. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're stuck with me I now, know, bro. It's true. It's true. <laughs> There's like, no if I want to jump bad. into it, it's like, all right, well, I'm going to wait. So, then, like, if we wanted to get some organization system down, and I'm serious, like, it was funny. I had, like, nothing going on Monday, and I was like, bro, I, I should just hit up Anthony. I was like, ah, oh, well, we said we just get one, down to one. We just do one You day. can at any time. But, bro, I'm just going to get to a point where I'm just going to hit you up and be like, we don't have to work on music today, but, like, let's sell shit. Or, like, let's do, like, whatever it is, you know, whatever it is to get, um, you know, your whether it's, like, your organization or my organization, like, I think it's just going to quickly become our organization. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, you know, there's so much uh, shit. And I'm willing to help you, like, I don't know what that looks like, and... It's a headache, man. Yeah, and I mean, it's great that you have this setup for it, because you obviously, you guys have your space, you have, like, your guys' kind of mecca, but this can be, like, a work room. It has to be. That's what I wanted it to be in the first place. So, I mean, and I would love, like, we could do... We could do a mix. We could have standing desks. We could have, like, if we want, I always, like, what I imagine myself to have is, like, a standing desk and then also a seated desk right next to it. So we both, so we have the ability, like, if, like, we're getting into something and, like, we have, depending on what space we have, because we, I think we just use our laptops for now, but, like, we can have, like, our laptops on the standing. And then if we're, like, if we're doing, like, some kind of, like, production thing, whether it's, like, we're playing piano, uh, we can move it where we can have our, our minis where we're standing or seated. Yeah. Uh, but that way, like, you know how you're like, let's get up and stretch. Like, it's just so that it's not so cramped. But this is just, like, such a dope room. I mean, you could you could fuck with the lights, dude, and you could make it, like, you could get you can get moody with it, man. That's you what get, I'm trying. You get yeah. moody with it where you walk in and it's like you're in work mode. Like, it's fucking work mode. And, like, we could, we could do anything, dude. Possibilities are endless. I mean, you saw, did you see my brother's setup with what he just recently did with his screens? I mean, we could even get to the point where we incorporate, like, this TV and, like, connect that to everything and use, like, different screens and shit. I mean, we could have, like... I want to have, like, a music station, a little gaming yeah. corner. Yeah, I love it. Like, for yeah. streaming and mm -hmm. video. We could even have, like, we could even have, like, we could have, like, if that's the case, we could even have... Um, you know how Joe has the table that comes out? We can even have a fucking table that comes out from here, and then we have mics, dude, for a podcast station. Yeah, dude. How fuck? How fucking would that? Like, we could fuck it up, and like, I would want it to be. 
No, Here, I'll show you. Liner, I'll, I'll show fire. you. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a visionary, bro. So like, so like, what you do is you get like a dope backdrop, and all you have to do is like, I'm gonna pull up YouTube here, and I'll go to Theo Vaughn. Um, let's do this, Theo Vaughn, um, and I'll show you what he did. But like his like little area that he has set up, super small, bro. But the shit works, dude. Like this is what he's got. So he, All right, guys. I'm actually sitting so here in the go. studio today. And thank you for Farley painting you have so in your... let me see it like once he... Um, oh, Ghost see. Army. I want to get... Oh, here we go. This episode is brought to you by Gray here Block Pete. It's going to be raining. So when he pulls back and you're able to see the full... Here we go. Right Okay, so all you fucking need, bro, is just like you can either we can either do a Joe setup where it's just a small coffee table right here with two mics, right? We mm -hmm. just have like a system right here, yeah. or we could do the two chairs right here, oh, and then you have like a backdrop. backdrop. That's all you fucking need, dude. Like it's super simple. So it's like we can we can really incorporate all of it and make it like we can split the room in half, where it's like even like maybe like I mean it doesn't even have to be half. Like you can use like a quarter boom right here. That's like for podcasts and like streaming shit. And I mean, we can have the, we can even have um, the the table set up where you have your laptop if you want to move like your work over here, like a workstation over here. I'm getting so pumped about this, bro. <laughs> and then you, and then we could do corner desks. We could do fucking corner desks, right? Where it's like standing, and then they come down to like seated. So it's like they they're up high, and then they're like low, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you have a corner, and then I have a corner, and then then I mean, I mean, what the hell? I mean, you can even you can even keep the space open and have like a TV here, and that's like your gaming session. And then you can have like chairs back here. So it's all fucking open, but it's just like when we walk here, we're like, all right, what do we want to do? Yeah, like, I, mean, I want to talk. <laughs> right, yeah, 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 exactly. So it's like we I have that, you. we have that station, and then we have the corners that are like like the workflow of more so. Um, like music and whatever i mean we could we could do whatever and then i mean we can even incorporate we can either consolidate it and have it like that in one corner mm -hmm. but i mean i even like the idea of it being spread out and it's just like well, let's fuck it up and like play like some like super smash bros and it's just like a tv like smack dab in the middle and then you have like two gaming chairs like right here the possibilities are endless bro but this is like an ideal space for it so that's like the end goal I mean, that'd be the end goal. That back, and it's like, yeah. And so now the ca the catch is, yeah. So now we had to ask. That, so this. the the question is, in your in your mind, do you see yourself? Is this shit all listed? No. Holy fuck, dude! It, it's, it's okay. It's that's like, gonna be it a take priority. A year. That that if it takes a fucking year, if it takes it take ten year. years, dude. <laughs> dude. It's a lot. Yeah. It's gonna be tested. Like, so then we need to do that. Then we should incorporate that. So we need to have like a breakdown. And I mean, we don't have to do it like structure. Like I like, I like the idea of like five minutes here, five minutes there. But it's like, if you just even want to start sh selling shit where it's like, all right, let's just post one thing today. Like let's just post one thing. Yeah. Just one thing every single time we meet. And then all of a sudden it's accumulated. And then, how many weeks are in a month, dude? You got like four or five weeks in a month. That's five items in a month, dude. And at least you're like just doing it. So it's it's all about like at this point in time, it's like I was telling you last time. Everything that affects you is going to affect me inevitably. Yeah. Everything's going to affect me. And so it's not like there's a win-win, lose-lose. It's like, well, you win, I win. You lose, you lose, I lose. Like that's just how it is. So it's like how – I don't – I'll be completely honest, bro – I am the most chill fucking personality you will ever meet. Like I literally like at my house, all I have in my room because I am such a minimalist, like I don't have like video games and all this kind of stuff. I have my equipment in my closet and I have my laptop that I will literally like be like on Netflix watching something or just like fucking around, dude. Like that's it. Like I don't do a lot of shit, man. So I'm willing to help you. So let's do it. You I know? mean, I do a lot of shit, man. Yeah, and that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you need, but if you need just like that extra body, who's like, okay, let's pull some shit out. Like, let's do this. Let's do that. Like, let's get that posted, dude. Like, I think the goal is we can even have the goal of like, let's get this as empty as possible so we can start having your storage actually go into storage rather than it being like all the stuff you're trying to sell. And then this becomes the workspace. Then we go from there. All right. It's, I'm, I'm, Throwing shit out there, but bro, like, I mean, I mean it's just sitting, man, because I'm too overwhelmed. So it's like, I yeah, can't. absolutely. And I, I get being overwhelmed, but I mean, like, think about like what we hatched out today. It's like you just sit down and do it. So, it's um, true. 
I'm down, bro. Like, even if you're just like, yo, you want to come over and like, let's, let's get some shit posted. It's like sick. Let's, let's do it. Like, I don't know how it works, but let's do it. Like, let's figure out how it works. All right. So should we write shit down? Like, how, how do you think we should do it? I would say that we just start. Can we post something right now? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> it's, it's already on this SD All right. card. Dude. All right, bro. What do you, okay, what do you want to post, man? Do you I'll have something you. that... I have some stuff that yeah, I... Show me everything that you got. That I've like taken photos of. Okay, sick. Last couple of all right, dope. Do you take pictures of everything that comes in automatically? It's all like stuff that I get. So it's like, I just sold this, a Super Nintendo game on that one. How much did you sell for? Uh, I made like 40 bucks on these two. Gotcha. How often, what stores are you going to? Like usually, what are like your go-to stores? Thrift stores. Thrift stores, okay. Pawn gotcha. shops, offer up, yeah. let go, Craigslist. All right, here's something. Here's a, here's a good question for you. Okay. So something that I'm realizing right now is every source of income that I have, I'm putting it back into something. I'm like mm -hmm. investing. I want to invest. Where, for you and your girlfriend, like what do you guys envision? Obviously, like Lenny is definitely something you guys are paying for. The house, the bills, phone, yeah. internet, things like that. What, like, what, where do you see, like, your money going? Obviously, like, you're giving, you're, you're pouring it back in and you're buying more. But it's almost like at this point, it's like, instead of just coming to this place of, like, building, 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 like, what if you, like, sold a ton and then you started, like, reamping it, you know, instead of just, like, accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. Not saying that you're pack rack, pack no, rat, it's, it's, but you're a fucking pack rat. No, it's like, once, once I <laughs> get know? everything out, I want to just, like, yeah, go to a pawn shop, get like yeah. ten things, and like I have to list it that day. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. sitting in my fucking house. You know? Exactly. Exactly. But of course, I want to step it up. Like, yeah, I wanted to get to a point where it's like drop ship, drop shipping, where it's all mm -hmm. automated, and I just get checks every month. You know, that's yeah, that's exactly. the end goal. That would be sick, dude. And I would, love, I would love, I would love to get you there. Like, I, I want to help you get there because obviously, like, that's your space, dude. And you did a hell of a job cleaning up because I, when I was in here last week, dude, like, this was just. It was a wreck. It's just a wreck. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, this is this is sick, but I'm just like, the way that my brain works, like, I see shit. I see it already. And, like, I'm just there. I'm already there. And now you're the steps guy, though. Like, we implement it, and that's why you're like, okay, so how do you want to do it? So I just say, yeah, let's post something. So what do we got here? Like, what? what all games, dude. Okay. Games, cards. So you can literally take any of this and just post it. Yeah, this is stuff that I've, like, taken pictures of. And like depending on what it is, I mean, there's consoles, there's fucking. Okay. My girlfriend just walked out. Yeah, okay. we're in here. I like it. I'm, I'm so down. Hold on. Hi. Hi, lady. How's it going? Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Skyler. Hey. I'm like the weird, strange guy that's hanging around, taking up <laughs> all your boyfriend's time. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, I'm obviously I'm busy too. Yeah, you're home. Yeah. Home. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, <sighs> yeah I'm just tired. <laughs> I mean, it was three girls and one guy just talk. We were just talking and uh -huh. like catching up. It's the time, so. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> We've been doing some shit. Yeah, dude. Making shit happen. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying yeah, to sell. We're, well, we're getting to like more of like the selling side of like all of his video game memorabilia. And stuff well, it started with just us playing piano and then theory. <laughs> and I then, was gonna say the piano's out. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were doing some Udemy stuff, and he was fucking loving it because he like already can play some, like play his like little mini like song thing. It's awesome. so fun, isn't it? Like, yeah. Always, it's like getting it out is the hardest part, and then once you once you yeah, we've exactly. just been doing it. Yeah. And then he's like, mm -hmm. he just had this vision for my room of like how we could set it up with like yes. the podcasting here and like gaming and all this just getting shit. it and then i'm a visionary and that's why like we're a good what, team because he yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, I, I will go to town with the visionary like portion of it like i i just see things and but then i'm like, analytically like all right and that's, that's, that's like okay like let's do it so then i'm also the guy who's like well let's fuck it up <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know so now he's like ready to start listening shit. Like, yeah all getting all the stuff out first okay mm -hmm. okay that's so. what he needs that's the music <laughs> yeah. yep yeah, so that's that's just the next goal is like we want to clear out this closet and I love yes. the idea. I love the idea, but I also like because we all right, and here's the thing, Amy, right? Okay. So we've already gone really deep and I'm like just a person that like I just I can't do the small talk. I'm just like boop, I'm like already in it. No, so I, I what I also kind of see, and I don't know like what you feel how you feel about this, but it's like because I told him I was like, you're kind of a pack rat. Right? Like yeah. the way that your brain works is like you hold on to things. I don't know what that is or why you do that shit, but uh, I don't know. Yep. 
I, I think there's way. something, I, I think there's definitely something there, but I think what you need to do is I think it's healthy to like let go and just like start getting it out because like you're really good at accumulating, but it's almost like you're not very good at like letting go. And I don't know if that makes you sense. You know him so well already. <laughs> it's weird, awesome. right? I don't know. Yeah. This is, this is like all of our conversations and he does yeah. the same shit with me. Like, yeah, I'm I, the first I, I, person who's like, keep me accountable. Keep me accountable. Cause I do this all, I got all my works, you know, like, this is all, this we were like together for nine hours the other day. It was just like back and forth. We were like, talking about so many things. I was things. calling him out on shit that he was doing, like putting him in his I, place. I need that. Like, Cause my brother, and my brother lives with me mm -hmm. and we do, that's like our conversation. And so I've been but in Colorado. it's not being harsh. It's like. I'm no, because I'm growing from, from it. Outside. Because I don't want to be this way. Like I right. want to. Slip. I don't either. It's why I'm fucking yeah. yeah. Same way, man. And so um, my brother, he actually, him and I are both from Chicago. So he moved out about five or six months ago. Okay. And he lives with me currently. Right. And I've been here for about four years. And literally, like the last four years, if anyone were to ask me, like, what that was like or what the process has been, it has just been unraveling and like unwrapping things like from my childhood, things that like. I experienced okay. with my parents. It's and not just where like, I'm at right now, too. It's, an, totally. it's, it's madness. Like, yeah, and like, so when I started talking to Anthony, at, like our first conversation when we were at um, Phantom, Canyon. At Phantom Canyon, I mean, I'm just a very open, honest person, and people are about that. Like, I just quickly... Yeah, well, we got deep in the like, first hour. Yeah. Oh, shit. So I am all about, like, self-awareness and realizing, like, this is a process, like, what we want to do, but there's so much, like, meaning in that process because... What are you do like? What is life like? It can be like so mediocre. It can be just yeah. like, and I hate that. I hate seeing people driving to work and hating to come to work every you literally single. You sound like <laughs> this is crazy. You have like a, a twin or something. You like met your like other half. Wait till you meet Ashton. Ashton's younger. Yeah, he's Ashton gonna, is his, his He's gonna be just twenty one, and he's like out he's of the world. He's only twenty one. He's twenty. He'll be he'll be twenty. Oh well, twenty one in November, but he's twenty right now. Damn. And him and I just like. But the crazy thing is, there's so many things that he's coming to realize with his time, like, away from home, away from, like, that environment where you can just, like, get really comfortable and content, where, like, nothing changes. Yeah. And that's where, like, we have de we developed this mentality where, like, we love our family, but we have to love them from a distance. That's how like, I mean. That's, that's how we people. both are. <laughs> You, you have to, Clearly. Like, and family, and family is, like, the people that you put yourself around, and mm -hmm. it's the people that you're growing with, and right. I think that was, like, something that I caught on with Anthony right away, it's, like, he wants to grow as much as I want to, yeah. and that is, like, that's that's a healthy friendship, because you you have to find yourself around people that want to grow, or else you're not going anywhere. Yeah, you're actually going to bring each other I can't down, be around you know? other people that aren't yeah, true. the same way that I am. That's why I don't have a lot of friends. It's true. Because yeah. it's just almost instantly, I'm like, I can't even yes. yeah. I can't even do this. And I'm sure you've experienced this moving out. I mean, I don't know if you knew, knew anyone when you moved here, but it's like, you meet all sorts of people. You meet people who are already like mm -hmm. our age, who have kids and have a family. And then you meet people who are like doing drugs every weekend and are just like, exactly. insane. Yeah. It's like you meet like a whole array of people and mm -hmm. it's like, all right, shit, like who do I actually want to surround myself with? Because you're kind of like starting over. Yeah. You know? It's a big deal. It is. It's huge. And my brother and I, I was telling Anthony, like, one of the first time. well, actually, it was right after we left my house when we came over here last week. Yeah. Like, my brother and I are so selective with who we hang out with. It, that's a good thing, though. That's We're so thing. selective. Yeah. Because we have just, like, we've learned. We're like, we, if people are literally just takers, like, we're not about that because we're, like, giving mm -hmm. people and we care. Mm -hmm. Like, we actually care about people. 100%. But like when we when we interact with a lot of individuals, it's just like, well, how, like, and this is just like kind of the entitlement of like the millennial generation. But it's like, what can I get from this interaction? Like, what can I take away? And like, how are you catering to my needs and what I want? And are you entertaining enough? And it's like, yeah, we're entertaining as hell, but not for you, bitch. Right. Leave. <laughs> like, you know, because yeah. like we we you know right we're learning like our self worth because that's another thing. Like as as like Anthony's worked through like his self worth, that's something that I have struggled with for years because just growing up in like a very religious family and like mm -hmm. I I don't say I'm religious I'm very spiritual like right. I believe in God and I believe of the concept of like there is someone that I like can trust and like go to for sure but like the idea and the construct of religion and it being like man's perception and they're yeah. like there's a lot of room for corruption exactly yeah. and it's like it's their interpretation that's not God and like mm -hmm. my view of God was so tainted growing up because of the way it was portrayed through my parents and like through the church I was invited. Same here too. Parents, yeah, I went to a private Christian school and it's 
fucked me up so bad. Like, yeah, just, yeah I, I totally and get you it. You felt like you can't be yourself, and like, yeah, I went yeah. through, I went through depression. Like, he's gone through, like, he has anxiety. Like, mm-hmm. and so all these different like factors just came together, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So. I was yeah. like, you gotta fucking meet this kid. Like, you guys are like, you guys shit. like literally everything that you're missing, and like at least in a friendship, he has. It, I can already tell you guys are like a match. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it's a bad romance, bro. It is, I love man. it. I might steal him. Sorry, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm okay. just kidding. Um, but yeah, no. At this point, like, I, and what's crazy is like the conversation I keep having because like the the way that like I talk to guys is just like it's like a regular conversation where I'm just like you know god like this is something i'm struggling with right now or like Mm -hmm. how is this supposed to happen and like for me like doing music and like working on production and doing anything like that has been the peak dream that has been like completely suppressed because of me wanting to please people and like my parents wanted me to go to school and like Mm -hmm. all these different people are like scott what are you doing get your shit together like what are you doing what are you what are you doing and wanting to like cater to everybody again um and like i just basically like literally in the last like couple months i was just like praying i was like god like if this is something that is going to take place this is such a big dream like i can't do this on my own like i don't have that capacity like i need somebody i need i need to like just work off of somebody and like have the ability to like you know the desire and the want to like okay this is what we're doing you know and um it's so crazy because his boss carson was playing at this gig um, and it wasn't even a gig that he was doing. He was only renting was, out the equipment. Yeah, it's big set. And I wasn't supposed to. I wasn't supposed to be at this venue. It was Creekside. Yep. Because brand new. Those are, you did the first event. I did the first event, which is insane. Which is insane. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's my boy. You did the first event. But like, I wasn't supposed to be there because the um, the planners they said I had to have insurance. I don't have any insurance. That's mm-hmm. something like I'm still working through right mm-hmm. now. And I was like, well, okay. And I, the way I see it, literally, this is just the way I see life is like. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. If it's not, it's not. Yeah. I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah. And for whatever reason, like the bride was so persistent. She's like, "Well, we got you in saying that you're like a friend." And I was like, "Well, I am a friend. That's nice. not lying. Like, okay. never <laughs> Right. Exactly. Yeah. And so then I meet Carson, and Carson's like, "Hey, like, depending on how you do, like, come out to the Thirsty Parrot, and I'd love to just like, I'd love to just, you know, have you meet the boys." Shit, yeah. So okay. I didn't. I didn't come out that night. He's like, "You want to come?" Like he wanted me to come out right after the reception, like right <laughs> afterwards. I was like, "Bro, I'm so tired. I put all, my all in that." You know. Yeah. Um, so you did the wedding, and then Carson was. Yeah, was he, just he was there, there like, doing just like the watching. lights and stuff, and like oh, I just okay. kept like talking to him. I didn't know the details of the story. You just told me. About yeah, the person. Okay. and then I ended up going to Thirsty Parrot, and Carson I couldn't get to at all. But Anthony was downstairs, and he was the first person I talked to. Oh, but the okay. funniest shit was like I could tell like the initial wall that Anthony had right off the bat because he's like, it's just another guy that comes up and says, I want to do this and isn't sure. And well, I was yeah, like, he tells me all the time. I said that to you too. And, no, I, and at the first five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And I just yeah. laughed because I was like, he doesn't know me though. <laughs> I literally <laughs> said like, it to you. I'm like, dude, there are guys that call like, me all the time. Yeah, I want to be a DJ or whatever. Yeah, like, exactly. I was so immune to so yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I know, and I no did. One, I, it's funny because like I thought I was like being annoying at first by like you pressing in, bro. I was no, like, I, I was like, <laughs> I got, I got to like, because that's just who I am. Like I, I'm always gonna follow up. Like I'll always be, you know. I'm laughing because like tomorrow at six thirty, someone wants to meet for coffee, and it's funny because I think in his head he's like, I don't know if he's actually gonna show up. I'm gonna fucking be there at six thirty. <laughs> you know, like that's just that's I rare, show man. up. I that's show up, dude. Breed. Like mm-hmm. because I know what it feels like when people don't show up for me, and it's like, well, yeah, yeah. See ya, you know. But it's like something that's serious and it was something that I was like wanting. It's like, this is an opportunity. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's crazy bizarre, but I think, yeah, there's, there's definitely like more that has been like connected, you know, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. And so. instantly he told me like what his end goal is with music and like his number well, that's one a, thing. That's the craziest part too. Yeah. It's like the music thing, whatever. His number mm-hmm. one thing was like, I want to play for a big crowd. Mm-hmm. And then I instantly like fired on him. I was like, that can't yeah, be your only, like, it can't be, it can't be your only goal. Like it's true. You're going to get up there and it's just, you're not going to feel mm-hmm. as great as you think. Cause it's, that's, that's not a tangible long-term goal. So he like thought about it and he just, you want to tell like you're at the Chase Yeah. Rogers. So this weekend I go to the Grand Uzi festival in Denver and it was just like Kendrick Lamar and the chain smokers. This last like, weekend? This la- just... Yeah. This last weekend. Okay. So Sunday night was chain smokers and I had gone and with, I had this idea that I was like, I want to be like front row. Like this is just like, I want to be there. Had you seen them before? I had never. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm third row, no joke. And I'm just like right there. And as I watch it, all I have in my head, pounding like a nail through my brain is what anthony said about that he's like it's not 
that can't be that your end goal. And like, yeah. as I watched it, it was, just, it was, it was the most insane thing ever, but I saw through all of it. And I was like, right, right. I was like, this is, this is not what I want. Yeah. Like that confirms it. Like yeah. this isn't what I want. You weren't but I had, there. To, I had to have that idea planted in my head first yep. so I could look at it and be like, no, you this is what I want. You thought of it in a totally different light. Like, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's crazy. It's totally, it's totally insane. But it clicked in my brain. So like I was able to tell him that story and I was like, I don't know if this, uh, that's even what we're going to be doing. Like, I think wow. it's going to be like more like music production and stuff, yeah. which is awesome. But it's like, as long as we fall in love with that process and we don't have that's these crazy say, expectations, because yep. that's another thing yeah. I get, like I talk to every like 20 something, you know, that I interact with about expectations, expectations, the idea, and just like how I've had unrealistic, unhealthy expectations. Yeah. It, it's just transformed like the way I live mm -hmm. and like the way like even relationships are, because mm -hmm. I think in a friendship you have like really unrealistic, unhealthy expectations. Totally. Yeah. I think for us, we do a good job just like vocalizing and be like, all right, man, <laughs> what kind of fucked up expectation you got? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, like, it's like one of the first combos we got. Yeah. Like, tell, yeah. me, tell me what you got. It's been cause... bottling up with me for fucking years. I've never been able to like communicate with anybody other than my partner here, but it's different yeah. with yeah. Like, it is. It is. a bro, where it it's is. like some yeah, real shit. You know? I love it, man. Yeah. So yeah, you'll probably see me around a bunch. I'm glad you're here. Seriously, <laughs> like I said, we both we've met so many people since we've been here, mm -hmm. here in the Springs, Denver, and it's just been like so. It's been really hard to find people that kind of align with just us individually. But us, you know, it's just it's been hard. Yeah. You know, it's like you just and find we yearn for it like crazy because mm -hmm. we know our our heads are in the space, and it's like there aren't. It's like the it's one percent of people that are in that same space where it's like we could share all these different mm -hmm. things now. Like the opportunities yeah. are like so vast, and it's interesting because I like the way my brother and I see it. We are like us collectively, like we are in this weird gray area because we're not like super religious. So it's like you're not going to like find me in a church every weekend. You well, know? That's how we are too. Like, yeah. and then you're also not going to find me like in the club, just like getting like completely like shit faced every weekend. Like that's where yeah. we are. So it's like where the heck like. Where, where are we gonna go? Where we go? Like, where's my it's where's true. my community? You know, it's true. and so I sad but true. I've just been like vocalizing like more so my like personality and like who I am to people. And it's like if you don't mm -hmm. like it, it's fine. And I realize like I work in a Christian ministry right now. I work at the Glen Erie Conference Center. Oh really? It's okay. over next to uh, Garden of the Gods. You guys will have to check it out someday. It's it's yeah, gorgeous. Been, been. But it's a conference and retreat center for the navigators, and they're a big like Christian ministry. But like I struggle there so much because it's like I know that if I say things, like I'd say to you guys, they'd be so freaking offended because people mm -hmm. like, they just mm -hmm. get so wrapped up in like <clears throat> the structure the and the way. control yeah. issues, you mm -hmm. know, and like the it's pride true. and the ego and that they find in, in their religion. It's like, yeah. guys, like, yeah. if that's the God that, like that's why I was turned off to like the idea of God for so long is because it's like, God like sounds like an egotistical like <laughs> asshole. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I don't want that, but mm -hmm. he's not like that. Like, that's not what I've experienced personally. And just he like, brought you here. Exactly, dude. Like, so he's a loving, God. caring, merciful God. Like, mm -hmm. that's that's the way I view him, you know, and my brother, too. And so, yeah, it's weird. Like, we're, I get it, guys. Like, I, I'm in this weird gray area, but that's why, like, I find this to be something I want to invest in for sure. Because it's like, you guys get it. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I fail all the time. Like, and I'll be honest, like I do fail all the time, but like, at least you guys are just be like, yeah, so do we, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, I don't know. So it's just a different, like, it's a just totally different way of living. And it's come about by like, I mean, I, I mean, for what you, for you guys to come to this place, like I realize you guys have had to go through a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's my story too. Like I've had to go through You've a lot. You've been here four years, you said, right? Yeah. What, what brought you guys out here? Well, you said your brother's only been here like five months ish, mm -hmm. right? Well, what brought you out here initially? I always have to ask that question. Yeah, I no, totally. So I was actually working at the Navigator camp. It was a summer camp. It was okay. called Eagle Lake. Okay. And there was a two summer commitment that I did. And I loved this area. I don't know what it was. Like, it was like everything was telling me, like, Skylar, you will not be settled in your life until you're in Colorado. Like, I remember mm -hmm. going back to Illinois. My parents freaked out. They're just like, no, you need to go to school, you need to do this, you need to do this. And I was like, no, you don't understand, like, I'm going to be in Colorado. And they freaked out. And I remember just, like, those months of just heavy depression because I was like, yeah. I'm never going to be there. Like, I I can't. And, and I had, you know, like, when you're around your parents and, like, the way that they start talking and the way that they influence you, it, like, gets back to, like, the way that they influence you as a kid. Mm -hmm. And it, like, messes with you. Yeah. 
So when they're telling me these things, it's like, yes, yeah, Skylar, like they're right. You're overthinking. Like you need to do, like you need to make like logical, smart decisions and do all this kind of stuff. Yeah. When God was just like, no, you need to take a leap of faith. Like, let me take care of your parents. I love them. And like what they're doing is incredible. Yep. But I've got your story that I'm painting. Like I need you here. And so that's what it's been. But it's funny because we're like big time hooked on Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, what? Yeah. Entrepreneur you know, Gary, he, he, Gary, uh, Gary V. Okay. Yeah. Like the guy who just. I showed you the video Ultimate Advice for a 12 year old or 20 year old. And he was like. Was like, the bald guy? No. He's oh. bald ding. But he's like black yeah. hair. We, Sorry, I was watching him in the car yeah. and then she was like, I want to be a millionaire by 24. He's like. Oh, the Gary, podcast. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, she yeah, told yeah, me yeah. that. Yeah. 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 So oh, we're yeah. big on Gary really with shit. Gary, like with, with what he talks about. But one thing that he t- what he like instills in people that want to like chase their dreams is like you can't have the expectations gonna happen tomorrow. Like mm-hmm. when me and Anthony sat down last week, we literally were just like ten years. Yeah. Ten years. Or twenty. Like. Or twenty. Like there's no we we're in it. Like yeah. we're in it to win it, you know. And so uh, adopting that is like so hard. But that's mm-hmm. like a way that. I don't see myself like I dropped out of school. I don't see myself doing anything else. So now we trickle that's it okay. down. There's no, sh- there's, there shouldn't be any shame in that, you know. Yeah. Society yeah. might might say this or that, but it's like you know, it's whatever you mm-hmm. want to freaking do. And we started yeah. trickling it down, just doing five minute intervals. And that's what we did today. And we, we turned five minutes like, into forty minutes. Of we ended up doing like ten or oh, fifteen yeah. five minute intervals. That's how we're gonna do it for the next ten years. <laughs> <laughs> and see where it I goes. mean, even if it was literally five minutes a day for ten years, yeah, you yeah be, it compounds to be so many than... minutes and yeah. hours. Like I know. He's <laughs> like, I was just like, this is what I want to do. So I told him, and then mm-hmm. he's in a place where like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. And then it's like, we're just do it. Yeah. So, so, so you're you're interested more, we're learning more about production, correct? I want to learn it all. DJing music, too. yeah. Because I just, I just want to be in the music realm. Like, yeah. I love music so much, it's unhealthy. <laughs> like, yeah, I just, right I right. always have to be listening to music. I always, I'm just, like, so passionate. I've been going to music festivals since I was young. Yeah. And it was never about, like, the drugs. Because, like, I'm not, I don't do drugs. Yeah. Like, I've smoked once. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> like, really rare to find people like that. Yeah, exactly. You, you, know, you know, 90% of the people there are just, like, fucking rolling, and, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Just, and I don't have, and, like just, and to just be, like, clear, I don't have any problem with people doing that either. Oh, no. Like, no problem. Like I say, I people do you for sure, you know? Yeah. But like for me, like that's just something I don't do. It's like because I love music that much, like the energy and what it is. And like even the way that I started like getting into the wedding DJing, mm-hmm. I didn't ask for it. I, it was just a door I walked through. And I just believe like all that my life has been is like these consistent amount of doors that I've just been open. Really look at it. And like God is just like, you don't have to, but I'm going to tell you, like, eventually you're going to walk through it. Yeah. Because I, I believe, like, in my relationship with God, is like, he knows me and he, like, he know like, he's got good things for me, you know? Like, like that might sound, like, crazy, no, but, like, no, he, does. he no, has, right. like, good things yeah. for me. And with that, like, he, he knows the desires of my heart. And he's mm-hmm. like, well, trust me. Trust the process. But so often I want to control it my own way. And I think that's where I can become, like, control <laughs> free, and, you know? Yeah. yeah. But that's why I like I like this process because it's like there's no way to be controlling in this. It's like no, we're just free we're, flowing. Yeah, you want, to, you want to jet out of here at any moment. It's like you fucking have the power to do that. I'm like, true. Yeah, even if we're two minutes in, you're like, dude, I got like what the fuck. Mm-hmm. It's like, and that's why I love too because you're like, oh yeah, wait another half hour. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, exactly. Like, Whatever. Watch Netflix or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was like literally laying there. I was so tired. I slept. I slept for like an hour. Yeah, after. you didn't get over here until like five. So we tried for like right yeah, after one. Him. Yeah, you text him. And, so, and then we're just like kind of going back and forth, and then they finally got over. Yeah. It's okay. But, so. So you're a DJ for technically, but you work for yourself, mm-hmm. right? Yes. So my brother and I are doing like our own thing right cool. now. Okay. And the game plan is to get that to a steady place where it can financially back me with continuing music. Where right. it's like, that's all I do, mm-hmm. and then the rest of the time is all music, gotcha. you know? Okay. Because I, like I was telling Anthony, like I talk to people who are in bands uh, in the Denver area, mm-hmm. and they work at coffee shops full time, just to, like supply yeah. for their, yeah. and then they'll play, they'll like work thing. during the day, and then they'll play a gig at night. Yeah, it's a real thing. Like, you're, really you are a starving artist, unless mm-hmm. you have some residual income. Yeah. And with Anthony here, he's got all that stuff in his, like, I want to help with that. Like, you know, and I, I know you said you pay me, but like, I don't even expect that. It's like, you're going to put a lot of time in You know what I'm saying? Money. Yeah. Well, and I, I appreciate that for sure. But like, Same that would help me. It's like, 
Yeah, I mean, my when girlfriend I, wanted to help and me. And then I realized I, I couldn't study. Yeah. Yeah. But what are, you, what are you studying right now? Um, so it's a, an interior design certification exam, basically a make me certified interior designer. It's, it's all based on like building codes and life safety and stuff. So that's basically what, that's basically the gist of it. Okay. It's making sure you're not going to hurt somebody. Yeah. Design, but that's awesome though. Yeah. So I have my three exams in about a month. So okay. I was starting to help him sell a little bit. And then I was like, I can't do, I can't study and do this. So yeah. I need yeah. you. I was going to do lift. I was going to do, try and get a second job or something. And I was just like, I'm just going to wait until my exams are over with. So but no, he told him, I mean, if you can help him with that, more power to you. Heck yeah. Because <laughs> no, I, I get it. Because at the end of the day, like, you guys so might stuff. be a couple, but you got to be, like, you got to independently be you. Like, I you, have been. You uh, have to do. We both have, what, yeah. You know? We just had this conversation yesterday. She's like, she almost feels like, especially while she's studying now, she doesn't want to feel like, oh, I have to hang out with Anthony. Like, exactly. I just have been accepting that. Like, we're, yeah, we're together. We live together. But, like, we're doing our own lives. It just happen to be together. So yeah. it's like, when I need to study yes. or whatever. and that's a healthy relationship. You know I mean? People don't relationship. realize that. Yeah. Like, yeah. what I, and that's, that's the hardest thing to grasp, too. It's like, no, I want to be with you, like, every moment you're here. I can't, yeah. And it's like, like, we can't, I can't always just come home from work and we. Like, jump all over me and waste it. time. Because it is, you're mm -hmm. wasting time. Well, Your I know. priority is what I, you have to do. I know. And I have that awareness, so I'm not going to be like, no. Even though sometimes it can be like, no. Because <laughs> yeah, like, well, I still distract you. We still distract each other. We'll just be like, no, oh, so like, we just start yeah, we'll going just start talking. Yeah, I love <laughs> that. But I'm like, well, I need to get back to studying for three, five minutes. That's and hilarious. That. I love that. No, that's good though, and it's it's and that's just like living with someone else. Like that's what I experience with my brother all the time. Yeah. And realizing, like, at the end of the day, um, you know, even like friendship, relationship, whatever it is, it's like. If the two people are dependent on each other, that's toxic. That's why it doesn't work mm -hmm. out ever. Because yeah. it's like well, that's you, why initially... you complete me. It's like no, you can't complete me ever. Yeah. It's just not going to work that way. That's why it's you like know? you got to have your goals. I have my goals, and we're just doing it together. Exactly. Some of them You're going overlap, in your but, not, but yeah. Well, yeah. no, a lot of our likes overlap, but it's mm -hmm. not like I'm going to do this and you're doing this with me. And we're committing to this. Like mm -hmm. you can't. I know. Like, you can't do that. It's going to be like. But yeah, we were just talking about the other we're day. We're together. I mean. If if we ever want to move or anything, even move to a different apartment, it doesn't have to be to a different city or state. Like this, yeah. we can't, I'm not, we're not doing this. We have to, this stuff has to be gone, you know? So yeah, it's like, yeah, move forward. it's like pull, pulling me back. Yeah. It's like all my anxieties. Do, like you, do you find like, is it like therapeutic to go shop for this stuff? 100%. I, there's a, there's something there. I really think so because I've known and I like, I'm not going to become like a, like a psychologist for you. No, but it's very that. apparent. But like, like, I've heard like, there's, you know how people cope in different ways? Like some girls mm -hmm. like will go shopping to cope with something. I, do. I don't buy she stuff, does. but I just go to Target just, like, and walk yeah, around. You just like go around because it's yeah. like we all have our coping mechanism. Yeah, I have my coping mechanism. Mine's on my shopping, 100,000. Yeah, and like Ashton's got his as well. It's just like, so now Very how nice. do you get to a point where it's like, because I mean, what's really messed up is like my mom. So my, the way that my mom thinks because of everything I told you about her, like just a lot of past stuff. It's It's heavy stuff. Like, really messed up but like she the way that she she is literally like trying to control everything that what she's done is like all the rooms that we've left that were our old rooms our house are now full of her garbage like she's cluttered the rooms which is insane because i think what she does is she compart what's the word compartmentalize whatever compartmentalize like all of these things in her head and now it's like so bad, like because she's not getting help. She hasn't like sat down and talked to anybody about it. Mm -hmm. It's coming out in her life. Like how insane is that? It's a real thing. Yeah. It's a real thing. And so it's like I later like I walked upstairs and I was like, I'm in a corner of my mom's brain. Like that sounds absolutely insane, but it's like makes sense, this is like all of the shit that she's not dealt with mm -hmm. and she doesn't want to let it go. Mm -hmm. That's what's super messed up. And so it's like, here we are, and I can't tell her that. I can't tell her. I can't be the one who's like, Mom, like, this is really fucked up. Because, like, that's all she does is, like, that creates more walls. Mm -hmm. She's just, like, she pushes people away because. Yeah. 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 It sucks, man. It's really messed up. But I, like, the way that I see it is, like, the things that God has been, like, showing me, it's, like, it's got to, like, the more that you let go and the more, like, you forgive your mom for everything, the more, like, I'm going to work in her and you're not even mm. going to realize that's it. That's a good way to look at it. It's, like the more you let go, the more I can, like, you get out of the way so yeah. I can, like, do work, you know? And that goes for anybody because it's, like, in a relationship, it's, like, how often do we want to fix people? We want to fix each other, right? True. And that's, like, so difficult to just let go of and be, like, no, I'm going to support them. I'm going to love them mm -hmm. because that's who I 
that's who I fell in love with. Like, that's who I care for. Right. That's how it is with Ashton. It's like, the moment I start trying to fix him, I know, I know he gets all like, mm-hmm. fuck you, bro. get out of here. You know, like he hates it. But then when I like show that I support him, he, he becomes like a dog. <laughs> He's just like, oh, <laughs> Skylar, like Skylar loves me, you know? <laughs> it's weird. So I don't know. But I appreciate like, uh, I, another thing I told Anthony is like, for me, I realized like, hanging around a lot of the single people in the Springs area, there are people I'll hang out with. But I also realized, like, I just appreciate hanging out with couples because you guys get it, like, in in more ways than, like, us single people. Because I feel like us single people, we create so much drama for ourselves because we don't get it. We don't get the reality of, like, oh, because we're just, like, super, like, selfish. Of, like, oh, like, it's all about me right now. That's okay, though. I mean, to yeah, absolutely. And I'm not saying, like, it's not a bad season. Mm-hmm. Like, I own it for sure. But you guys give me, like, a healthy perspective of, like, yeah. I'm giving up 50% of myself to be a part of something 100% better, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's hard. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's my spiel. But, yeah, we're going to pimp this room out, dude. I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, it looks better. I know you cleaned it the other day. It looks, or last yeah, night. It looks a lot it's better. Gonna, yeah, it's a lot better. I'm sure it's all in there. But... <laughs> we'll just organize it a little better. But yeah, a lot of it is in there. Most of it. Dude, what do you want to post? Just one thing before I leave, and I'm gonna get right. going because I gotta, I gotta get some dinner in. So you want to post something? Yeah, yeah anything. Post Why don't you post your video? Did you show me your video? I was talking about eBay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought you meant like on social. Oh yeah, my my DJ video. I didn't post that. Yeah, Has he seen you it though? should do that too. He was <laughs> supposed to do it at our house, but he didn't do it. Okay, so have you seen the video? Yeah, though? it's awesome. Yeah, right. I Anyone would watch that and be like, oh, that's fucking sick, right? Like, yeah, it's no one's totally going to be dope. like, lame. No. I don't know why. Self-doubt, people-pleasing. That's that's our that's what we found out is our biggest like weaknesses. <laughs> yep. Self-doubt, people-pleasing, dude. I just got to get off the people-pleasing train. <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys Sweet. It was so nice to meet you, Amy. Yeah, you too. Um, yeah, what? So Let's just start easy. I'll, I'll just do like this. So like, it's just a disc only. Cause she threw up a little bit. What? Yeah. It's just like spit, like that's that like yellow spit. She, like, she did it like. So, okay. I just moved it over because I cleaned. Okay. This is my eBay. Four hundred eighty-four. Positive feedback. Mm-hmm. We'll go. Dope. So. I'll go. I, I did save like drafts, so it like saves all of like the previous stuff. So I'll just search for a different product. Okay. Put it in Terraria. Yeah. Microsoft, Xbox, no, it's 360. So I'll click it. Mm-hmm. It'll have like pre, like it'll already like fill up. What this game is, but I'll put like disc only. Disc only. Okay. Um, like good condition. It's got like some scratches on the back of it. So I'll just throw a photo in there. Nice. How many have photos? Do you only usually have one photo? No, I'll have multiple, but it's like this is all you really have to see for a disc. Like yeah. the back. I'll put in the description. This is stuff I wrote for the for the previous one. And I'll just kind of like it was in good condition. Some scratches. The real life is right, and I'll put fully tested in virtual nineteen. And just like well, my shipping, all that bullshit. Um, I'll probably we'll check the price on it. See what it's like going for. You know, it's so funny. You know how you see it as a game. I'm just like automatically. I'm just like I wonder what kind of like. I wonder what it's like. Like what kind of game is it? You know, like I want to yeah. play it now. No, totally. 
This one's like kind of it's like similar to Minecraft. It's like a building game. It's cool. But the lowest one up right now is six, uh, like seven something. So since it's disc only, some of these are like I would do like six fifty or something like that oh, to yeah. get it sold quick, or like six seventy or something. Yeah, nice. I'll do a fixed price. Uh, do best offer if they want. Would you say that this closet's pretty organized or no? Yeah. Would you like to at some point organize it? Yeah. Let's fuck like, it up. Like go through everything. Like know where all my shit is. Like I was yeah. gonna start doing that, but it's just like I get overwhelmed. Yep. So that's just the pattern, man. And that's it. There's one item. Fuck yeah, bro. All right. All right. So here's the deal. We're gonna organize that closet too. <laughs> okay. I'm serious. Like we'll we'll make that happen. Well, the workflow would be a lot smoother too. If it's organized. So yeah. Once everything like. But I I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good, dude. Like, I'm feeling really good. <laughs> so Seriously, much, I think I think we. But that is just it. Like we just did shit, and I feel good about it, man. I feel so good about it, dude. I know. That's, that's like more crazy. than I've done in a long time. Like sat down yeah. and fucking like, did something, you know? Hell yeah, bro. And that's just gonna build. Well, the way that I see it is, dude, um, I'm going to head home because yeah. uh, I need to make some dinner and I need to get everything settled for tomorrow. But, uh, dude, my, my visions, dude, I, I just, oh, I could go all day about it. But I hope I just gave you, like, some, like, sort of enthusiasm and excitement of, like, what we could What do. it could be, yeah. I got to show you some shit, man. Use. Like when I think of oh yeah, let me go to do that. Yeah. yeah, here we go. So let's do this. Let's go Tyler Joseph. This is the this is the one um, interview I watched the other day that I thought was really cool. Was it noisy? Noisy? Was it noisy? No, Tyler Joseph interview. This is the lead singer of Twenty One Pilots. Okay, here we go. So this is what his like studio looks like, but I love this dude. What he's done with the place. Oh, he had Mario. Oh, he's yeah. got Amiibos. Zelda yeah. Amiibos. Yeah. So he, it literally looks like a bomb shelter. It's crazy, but it's mood. It's all about that mood. So like, hey, let's. I'm gonna go forward where it like pulls out. Like there's one scene where it kind of pulls out a little bit, and it like he just shows him like what the studio looks like. If our culture were if you ever have an opportunity that way, just like watch this interview like the way he thinks they've is accomplished incredible. something unreal like they've ran a race and he they have is a lot to tell us about how we can incredible. better run it but I think that, not saying that we get like these speakers in the wall but do you see what I mean like with the screens and like so what what I was thinking is like he has pretty consistent workflow because it's just him but what we could do is like we have this like I said, we have like the standing. We could have like um, we could have like a mat here, and then a standing desk that comes up to here, right? And then up on top, we have screen come out like in the future. Like that's that's foreshadowing. <laughs> I think you know, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go big. We'll have a screen. Right? Dude, there's so, desks that that's, that's that you can stand thing. and go into a sitting desk. You ever seen those from IKEA? No, I have to. I have those to are insane. Say. Okay, so that's that's, that's, that's dope. Fun. So say like. Say like I'm stand so say like I'm like sitting and working, but then we want to like stand and work too. It's like I you just like have that break. So then you have your space over here, but then like once again in the middle we have like a screen like he does that's just like mounted here, and then we have like maybe like two well, we we can even use the same chairs, the chairs and we just roll them back, and so we have like an area here. I mean we can have like we could make it comfy and like have seated chairs, or we just fuck with our chairs that we have, you know. Yeah. And then when you turn around, you literally can flip your chair around and you have like either a coffee table that comes out to here or you have kind of like the Theo Vaughn setup where it's like two nice like comfy chairs in the corner and you have everything mic'd up. So as far as like where the all the sound and like um, the different pieces of the equipment would go, we could, either, we could either have it against that wall or we could have everything in the closet where everything's run out of the closet. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, a fine, it's like a, it's a, it's a, like all the audio equipment and shit. Yes. So it's like, you know how, um, I don't know what you guys do for your weddings, but you guys probably, do you guys have like the rollers with everything? Like, I don't know. It's all, it's in a room. It's, it's like all an in a IT room. room yeah. Okay. It's like an IT room. 
so yeah, like that would kind of be what we do is like an IT room, but like you can also like manipulate everything. You have all the cords running to it, so it's out of the way, and then it's just like open space. It's like because I like I like, like open space, bro. Like anything that's open, that's like giving you the opportunity to just like process, dude. I love it, and so we could even like. I mean, I like how he has like the dark. So what you do is like you have like the walls painted, and then you get these lights, light fixtures, where they have like that kind of mood, where it's like either we do like a darker mood in here, yeah, or you fuck these lights. Yeah, like because they're just yeah they're obnoxious. Yeah. Um, but like, it's it's enough where you walk in and it's like you know it's time to work. Like there's no part of it where it's like this is my home anymore. Like this is just like this is my workspace dude yeah so um yeah and i think like that is a good like picture setter for what we want to do it, like kind of sets like the tone of like okay like yeah that's what we want to do and so i think we should post something every single time i'm here and just like post it and at some point dude we should just go through all that shit i have no problem just going through it and being like xbox games you know, uh, or like 360 games, you know, 64 games. I was just uh, talking about this yesterday. Maybe. <laughs> Let's do it, man. So I just need, I just need that. I just need the day. And so, um, this, the rest of the week is packed for me, but same. I'm literally going to text you. I'll text you same time, like Sunday night or Monday. I'll just be like, look, this is the day. These are the days. I'm just going to give you all my days. So, so you have them. Cool. Um, and heck if, it, if I'm over here two days, dude, like that might be the case because literally at home, all I do other than like when I need to cook dinner at home, like I just, I fuck around, bro. I fuck around. Like, I'm not doing anything productive. So it's like, this is um, yeah, I'm down to fuck shit. it up. So. All right. Let's make it happen, man. Sound good? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Go, That's what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, cool, man. Um, I'm going to head out. Right. You guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace. Um, I got to see what Ash is doing. But I will plan on texting you. I'll plan on texting you. Um, like I said, Sunday or Monday. Once I get my solidified, um, it's Harvest is the company I work for. It's like yeah. another AD position. Yeah. So as soon as I get that scheduled, I'll know. All right, sounds good. And I'll do that. Yeah, just but dude, I appreciate it. I feel really good right now. I'm be like getting in my car. I'm just gonna be like blasting like my core I'm just like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. Like, yeah, yeah, you take it easy.
No, for sure. So you just need a potential scanner for, for pictures. And then some stands. Yep. We got those. We got those. All right, man. Thank you so much, dude. Seriously. All right. I don't know if I can do this. Come here. Last few hours? Yeah, I had around like seven thirty. Thank you. 